Oh, just walking through the um, the space and looking at the content um, of the Fulkert Di Jong exhibit um, made me think about how war happens. And so this is one of those steps, the checkpoint. This work is named for the Belgian village of Watau on the border between France and Belgium. It was a violent region during the 16th century, the 80 years war between Spain and the Netherlands, 1568 to 1648 and World War I. So my question is, is art ever violent? And I'm gonna have to say, strangely, no, because if I feel violated by what is supposedly art, then for me, it's no longer art. So I think art can be about violence and it can comment on violence, but once it becomes violent towards me, towards the viewer, then I feel that somehow it's, it's in a different category and it's not art. Maybe it's pornography or something, something other than art. Art wouldn't be art if it didn't invoke all of your emotions and violence is one of them. Thanks. Les Jong's choice of materials, styrofoam and polyurethane, adds another layer of meaning to his work. These substances are relatively impermeable and sometimes toxic and they create considerable environmental problems. The chemical reaction that creates the foam is irreversible. It will take a million years to decay. Well, it made it more grotesque, and most of it was depicting war and the ugliness of war, and now that we're in a green environment of sorts, this is anything but green-friendly. I think that exhibit was amazing, and that the details in it, the feelings that you get from the images itself, like from the statues, I think it was amazing. And the details in the teeth, the teeth really kind of got me. <laughs> and the melting of it, it all seemed like if it was, though it wasn't the color red, so it wasn't blood, but it, it was all, it was great. If you could attach an emotion to these sculptures, what would that be? Initial reaction was surprise, grotesque. I think the word grotesque enters was in there, and big. I think big was the first thing. As soon as I saw the first, the first caricature there, and uh, surprise also because of the materials made out of, which was uh, kind of astounding. I've seen anything made like with uh, with styrofoam. I mean, you don't. It's not like a mold that you mold with clay. A uh, sculptor that makes a statue or something like this. This was molded out of a styrofoam and also from uh, polyurethane or these, these toxic uh, ingredients. But anyhow, it was, a, it was a surprise, it was, a, but it was interesting. I thought at first it was really disgusting, so when I went in to see the, the dying giant and the violence of it, it was gross, but at the same time to read the, the history of it, um, to see that everybody in war loses something, whether you're, you're doing the killing or you're being killed. I just thought it was a very powerful message and I can't believe it was all styrofoam. <laughs>